Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt, and today we're talking about five, no, six. Today we're talking about six types of $100 bourbon. But before we get into the six types of $100 bourbon, I need to tell you about today's video sponsor. Today's video is brought to you once again by the world's first genetically modified pre-alcohol probiotic drink, Z-Biotics. If you're anything like me, a few drinks tonight can lead to a few moans and groans tomorrow. Luckily for us, there are scientists roaming about, and some of those scientists have made it their duty to figure out why the alcohol do what it do to me. They figured it out. It's not dehydration that causes you to feel icky the morning after drinking. No. Their research showed that a toxic byproduct of alcohol was created in the gut after drinking. In order to combat that nasty byproduct, they created Zbiotics. And Zbiotics creates an enzyme. And that enzyme starts working in no time. This tiny little bugger begins working immediately in your stomach and continues to work through the night. So the next morning you wake up feeling all right. Drink a Z-Biotics, drink responsibly, pace yourself, get a good night's sleep, and the next day, guess what? You're gonna feel like a million bucks. If Z-Biotics and real science sounds too good to be true, it's not. Click on my link in the description box below, use code ADHD at checkout, and you'll save 15% off your first order. Thank you, Zbiotics, for sponsoring this video, and thank you, science. Yes, yeah, science. Now that we talked about today's video sponsor, let's talk about six types of $100 bourbon. $100 bourbon type number one. The great bourbon you cannot find. For example, George T. Stagg, William LaRue Weller, Eagle Rare 17. Yeah, these bourbons, 100 bucks or so. But guess what? I don't have any, because you can't find them. Literally, they're just unicorns. They're just being brought home by the distributors, probably being gobbled up by like politicians in Pennsylvania. You never know. Type of $100 bourbon number two? This type of $100 bourbon is terrible bourbon endorsed by a celebrity. Rare Stash by Dustin Poirier, $100. Rare Stash, more like pure trash. I'm not gonna lie about the quality of this, and I would say it's not a hit, it's a miss. Absolutely 100% garbage. Hello garbage, I spent $100 on garbage. I would have rather spent $100 on garbage bags, filled up one garbage bag with those garbage bags, and then put that out to the curb for the dumpster man to take it away. Because that would have made more sense than purchasing this. I'm not a mean person, I'm not a mean guy. And that's a fact. But if you claim that your bourbon comes from rare barrels that you unearthed, then you fibbed, and I'm gonna call you out on it. I'm gonna be totally dishonest here and say that I enjoy this. Terrible bourbons endorsed by a celebrity was the second type of $100 bourbon. Number three, the third type of $100 bourbon is what some people on YouTube, just me, basically just me, calls the $100 mystery bourbon. Whew. I picked this baby up on the shelf. This is Lead Slinger's 10-year bourbon whiskey. 100 buckaroos. And after digging and trying to unearth information on this bottle, I just couldn't do it. There was nothing out there. This bottle wasn't even on Lead Slinger's website. But the Scooby-Doo in me had to get to the bottom of it. So I purchased the bottle and the mystery was solved. It's not that great, unfortunately. If you can tell me anything about this 10-year bourbon whiskey, go ahead and do it because no clue. Absolutely no clue. But that's how they get you. That's how they get you. There's just a $100 bottle of bourbon sitting on a shelf that says 10 years old on it and you're like, it's gotta be good, right? I mean, it's gotta be. It's gotta be good. 
nobody's nobody even nobody's even talking about it yet. Maybe I'll be the one to discover the best bourbon on the planet. So you buy it and shouldn't have bought it. The $100 mystery bottle of bourbon is number three on my list. Number four, the fourth type of $100 bourbon is what I like to call sourced, special, and secret. Because some $100 bourbons on the shelf are super good. They're sourced from a different distillery and they're kind of like super secret because like the whole world doesn't know about them. And in that case, Lucky 7 14 year the hold up or Lucky 7 12 year the hold up. Both $100 bourbons, both 100 proof, both very, very good. You see this on a shelf and it looks appealing, but it's a hundred bucks. You do a little research and it's not a mystery bourbon. There's actually like information about it on the internet. You can like acquire information about it. Is it a secret to most of the world? Yes. Is it a secret to you? Well, not anymore. But this is a $100 bottle of sourced special secretive bourbon. And I think I probably just told you my secret that I friggin love this $100 bottle. Number five, the fifth type of $100 bourbon on my list is what I like to call the local's best. No matter what state you live in, if you go to the liquor store, you're guaranteed to see an entire shelf of local distilleries and distilleries from your state. Most of those craft distilleries are going to have bottles that are priced up, up, up. But you're also going to find bottles that are priced higher than that. I am by no means making fun of Distillery 291. I am not making fun. But they do have bottles that cross the $100 border. This small batch isn't the $100 price point, but their barrel proof offerings are. The problem with local and craft distilleries and bottles priced at that price point is you never know what you're gonna get. You never know unless you can try it before you buy it. For bourbons in the locals best category, I would suggest you go to their distillery, you try their product, get a tour, go to the bar, see if you like their stuff, see if you don't. That's all I have to say. Absolutely, 100% nothing wrong with local or craft distilleries. But if you buy a $100 bottle of bourbon from said distillery and you don't like it, it might put a sour taste in your mouth. Literally. I'm planning a trip to 291 myself to see what the heck is going on out there. We've done five types of $100 bourbon, but there's more. There's still one more on my list. And the sixth and final type of $100 bourbon is what I like to call the marketing major. No better time than to introduce Blue Run. Blue Run, with their butterfly and sleek, sweet looking bottles, offer decent bourbon inside. Decent to pretty good to good. They offer good bourbon. It's good. But the price point? 100 bucks. 100 bucks for a bourbon? Why? The $100 price point is an opening. There's not tons and tons of bourbons at that $100 price point. And the super smart people behind Blue Run saw that for sure and they were like, that's where we want to live. That's where we want to be. We want to be a $100 bourbon whiskey. The marketing major is a $100 bottle of bourbon that you look at and you go, oh my God, that's gotta be good. That's gotta be good. It really swells up my sweet spots, if you know what I mean. It's almost like they knew what they were doing to get me so attracted to it that I must have it. The marketing major $100 bottle of bourbon is just that. Companies that focus on marketing first, bourbon second, and probably glorious parties with lots of hot people third. Just saying. I would just imagine that's the case. Not sure though. That's definitely not something I heard. Just in my head, using my imagination. Lots of topless people with lots of massage oil and champagne. Hot tubs. Hors d'oeuvres. Belly shots, ice luges, charcuterie boards, and consensual lovemaking. The marketing major. That's going to do it for this video. Those were six different types of $100 bourbon. What did I miss? 
What did I miss? If I missed a type, put it in the comments below. What type of $100 bourbon were you thinking I was going to talk about for show? But I didn't. If you're not subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. Hit the thumbs up. Let me know you like the content. And remember this. My name is Matt and this is ADHD Whiskey. Like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on canoes and kayaks and how easy they are to turn upside down in a river if you're clumsy or obese like me. Little word of advice, bungee cords. Bungee cords on a canoe, just bungeeing everything that you value, anything of value, just bungee cord it in so that when I or somebody like me eventually turns the canoe upside down and gets everybody inside the canoe soaked with river water because you're in it, you're in the river, when you flip the canoe back over, all the stuff that you still value is still there, even though I turned it upside down and it shouldn't have been there. It should have been in the river, but it wasn't because bungee cords.